Hello and welcome. I'm Nina with Walla Stamping. Thank you so much for stopping by my craft room today. So I'm going to be sharing with you a number five in the Mother's Day card series today. And I'm going to be using a free paper that I got from Celebration. And this is called the Springtime Foils. I absolutely love this paper. It is beautiful all by itself. But I'm going to show you a technique on how you can take this paper that had a white background and turn it into this gorgeous paper that is colored but you're not covering up the silver and gold pattern that's already there it's a really cool technique I think once you see how versatile this paper is you're gonna love it every bit as much as I do now something I do want to make mention to you is that celebration will be ending on March the 31st that is only a few days away so if there's any product that you have been wanting to get out of the celebration catalog that you haven't had an opportunity to get yet please get your orders placed so that you can take advantage of those free items now at the beginning and the end of the video I have a list of all of the supplies along with the measurements of everything that I'm using so you don't have to worry about trying to write everything down as I'm going through the tutorial because I'm gonna have that all listed for you in the beginning and at the end so let's go ahead and get started on this card here is a closer look at the card we're going to be making today. And this is a look at what this designer series paper started out as. As you can see, it's gorgeous. This particular pattern is silver and gold, and it's kind of a vine looking pattern, but look what I'm able to turn it into and still keep that beautiful shimmer in the background. This is so easy to do, you guys. Now what I'm going to start out doing is go ahead and getting my Big Shot work done and out of the way. So what I have here are two of my scalloped ovals. I have my largest and the next size down and then I have the second from the largest of the plain ovals. So with the scallops I'm cutting the largest from the Berry Burst, the next to the largest from my Whisper White and the second from the largest oval with my Glimmer Paper. For the next step, I'm going to take my Springtime Foils Designer Series Paper and I'm going to do my coloring. So what I'm going to start out with is some Lemon Lime Twist ink and I'm going to apply that with a sponge applicator. Um, I've seen some other people color this paper, but what I've seen them doing is actually dragging their ink pad over the top of the paper. and. And for me, that's a great technique for certain applications, but for what I'm doing today, I've decided to sponge my color on. I feel like I have more control over how dark I make it, and I'm going to do a shadowed or a gradient look on this card where it's darker around the edges and lighter in the middle. So this is a better application process for me. So as you can see, what I've done here is I've just put that lemon lime twist in the middle and not put any around the outside edges. Now I'm going to take some of my wild wasabi and I'm going to run this color all around the outside of where I have the lemon lime twist. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit just for the sake of time but let you watch the process. So what I ended up doing was putting on my wild wasabi around the outside edges and then I came back with my lemon lime twist and blended those two colors together for a smoother transition between the two. So I've got my smaller whisper white scalloped oval here and I'm going to just use the ink that's left behind on my lemon lime twist and I'm going to go all the way around the outside edges of this scalloped oval and then I'm going to come in with my um, wild wasabi and add some of that on the outside edges as well. So there's my lemon lime twist and here's my wild wasabi. The stamp set that I'm going to be using today is another free item from Celebration Y'all. It ends on the 31st, and this is called Beautiful Peacock. 
And my personal favorite two images from this stamp set are these two because I love images that have swirls and curls and that type of thing. So this is what I'm going to be using. Today is all about you for the sentiment. I'm going to use both of these swirly images, these dots, and I'm going to use this flower and this flower. So I'm using quite a bit out of this stamp set. I'm going to use the two green colors I've been using to begin with. I'm going to begin with the larger of my two little swirled images and I'm going to stamp that all around the outside edge of this oval and I will be overlapping them. Then I'm going to take the second swirled image and dip that into my lemon lime twist and go around my oval as well. And what this accomplishes is stamping it in the lemon lime twist makes it look like it's further off in the background. So that's all I need these two colors for. Now I'm going to be using my Berry Burst. And I'm going to start out with that little polka dotted stamp that I was showing you. And I'm going to put just a few of these dotted around through here. Not a whole lot of them. And this to me represents little flower buds that are just beginning to bloom. Now I'm going to take the smaller of my two flower images, go around and just stamp a few of these, and then I've got my larger one mounted on the other side of this block. I'll just flip that over and stamp a few of the larger ones. All right, the last thing that I need to stamp is my sentiment. I'm using my wild wasabi. I'm going to use my graph paper here to get my sentiment stamped straight as possible. Hopefully I got that in the center and straight and that doesn't look half bad. Now I'm going to put all of these together. I'm going to be using my fast views and just running some across the back of each of these ovals and then get those all layered up. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back because I will be popping this up off the front of my card. Next I'm going to take my card base and apply my springtime foils on top. Then I've removed the backing from my dimensionals. Get that put right there in the center. Take my metallic edged ribbon, tie a bow. Going to use my glue dots to put that bow on my card. Aren't those absolutely gorgeous? I love this card. I think the Springtime Foils Designer Series paper just really makes this card special. Thank you again for spending time with me today and allowing me to share the fifth of the cards in my Mother's Day card series with you today. And I hope that you find that this Springtime Foils Designer Series paper to be ever bit as beautiful and versatile and special to you as it is to me. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Don't forget to go over to my blog at walleyestamping.com where you can get the instruction sheet on how to make this card and while you're there be sure to sign up for my newsletter so that you can get exclusive tutorials as well as special promotions from me and while you're there getting your instructions for this card be sure to check out my customer thank you gift for the month of March. If you like any of these supplies and there's anything you need, remember I have them listed below as well as at the end of the video in this blog post as well. And you can shop at my online store by going to wallastamping.com forward slash order SU. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.